Asia Native, and also to this class. I'm Leticia. My name is Donatan. You can call me doing this my nickname. For this class, we have lots of listeners. We have four. And they are An An Ne Pan Ishanan Wong Sang Wong Si something. Okay. And so this is I may pronounce your name or your surname. Okay. Actually uh if you are working, if you are Mm, having dinner, you're sick, or you're living in the loud place. Okay, that's fine for you to be a listener. But if you don't want to talk because you haven't prepared yourself before the class, because you don't like this topic, because you think this topic is too difficult, or maybe you think uh, your English isn't good enough. Okay, please let me say something about that. Actually, everybody come here to improve your speaking skills, right? And um, when you speak, please let somebody hear you, okay? Please let the teacher hear, please let the friends hear you. Because when you speak on your own, okay, nobody could hear you, and I can't give you the feedbacks. I don't know how to make your English better, if you don't speak to me, if you don't let me hear you speaking, okay? So try not to train your ears, not just only listening. No, it's not good. So please try to speak in the class. If you can't make it today, that's fine. So try it again tomorrow, okay? Right, for the topic of today, we are going to talk about working abroad. Actually, if you have some experiences working abroad, please feel free to share with me and with your classmates. But if you don't have any, that's fine. Um, I'm quite sure that you attended yesterday's class, so please feel free to reuse some vocabularies, structures, or expressions okay, in this class again. Or if you don't have any experiences at all and you don't know how to talk about that, don't worry. You can use your imagination because the point is um, topic I wants you to speak English no matter it's right or wrong. Okay? Don't worry too much about being right or wrong. Please let me let your um, English better. So now please introduce yourself by telling me your name, your age, your job, where do you live and what is your hobby. Let me start saying hi to Namo. Good evening. Good good evening, Tisha. I am I am Yut. Uh, Yutapum Namwong is my full name. I am fifty eight years old. I am now retired. I live in Payao. I love to taking photos and taking audio video teacher nice to meet you um i'm sorry i couldn't catch your second hobby what's it again uh taking videos aha uh -huh. yeah. okay what kinds of uh, photo would you like to take uh everything teacher about uh people uh, way of life, people, uh, natural attraction, uh, everything. I want to take photo. Uh huh. And do you take it by uh, your camera or your mobile? Uh, camera, teacher. I use uh, mm -hmm. both both of them, both of uh, camera and mobile phone. I, I, I okay. Use both and of them. Uh -huh. And which one do you prefer? I prefer about um, the way of life people. I, I, I like to take photo with uh, what people do, what people uh, working, something like that. And about cultural and attraction 
of my hometown. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you very much. What's about I'm an IT student? Peace, Shaya. Good evening. Yeah, I don't hear you. Peach, yeah, I don't hear you. I don't hear you at all. Can you hear me? Hello, Peach, yeah. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Okay, but please let me know if you can hear me or not. Yeah, maybe I think you have to refresh. All right, please let me try. Pishia, can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Hello? Yes, Pishia, can you please introduce yourself? Okay. Good evening, teacher and everyone. My name is Pishia. You can call me No. Um, I'm 36 years old. I am a sole person. I live in Bangkok. My hobby, uh, my hobbies are cooking and gardening. Okay, I see. Nice to meet you again, Pichia. Yeah. Uh, what kind of flowers do you like most? Sorry, pardon me. <laughs> What kinds of flowers do you like the most? Um, I like jasmine. Okay, and do you grow jasmines? Yeah. Okay, how much? I mean, how uh, many jasmines do you have? Um, about uh, four. Four. Okay, and why do you like jasmine? Um, I like the smell. Uh huh. It's um uh, make me afraid <laughs> when 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 I uh -huh. uh, get up in the okay. morning. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Interesting reason. And I think we have just only one. Color for jasmine is white. Is it correct? Yes. Okay, I see. So thank you very much. What an interesting flower. It has only one color. Okay, why don't you try to, um, I don't know, make it to have colorful colors? I don't know. Okay, thank you everybody for your introduction. Before we move on, I'm going to give you my comments. During the class, I'm going to give you time-to-time -time comments. There could be pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary. I would like you to write down my comments on your notebook because you might want to practice them later after class. Oh no, okay, pronunciation. Boy, boy, namung. I have two words for you. You know, um, when I give you pronunciation comments, I mean two of you. I'm quite sure that you might want be able to, you might be able to pronounce them correctly one by one. But you know, sometimes in sentences, you forgot to pronounce some of them, especially for any words. That's why I have to point them out. Um, for namung, I have two words, which is people. In English, we say people, not people. It's not people. It is people. People. 
Okay, and another one is off. Off with the F sound. Uh, Pishaya, I couldn't find any mistake about pronunciation. Very good. So, uh, Namwong, I would like you read those two comments for me. People, people, of. Okay, please repeat after me slowly. People, people. Okay, people. another one. Of. Of. Thank you very much. Um, your grammar. You said I love to taking photo and video. Um, you know when we have two t o two, and if you want to use a verb after two, it has to be in the infinitive form. I mean the verb in infinitive form. When I say infinitive, it means um, in time we say kriya te or kriya shantinin. That's why we can't say to taking because taking is the ing form. Okay, it is gerun, not infinitive. That's why we can't use it. Um, so my recommendation for you is I love to take photos and videos. That's all. And now we can move on to the class rules. We have only three of them. The first one, please use only English. Second one, try to practice speaking on a topic under the guidance of the teacher. And the third one, please don't do personal things in the class. During the class, if you have any questions, especially our four listeners, please don't be hesitant letting me know. Let's pay attention to our first task. This is a vocabulary game. So you have to fill in the blanks to complete the words. As you can see, we have eight words from yesterday's class, but some letters are missing. So if we call your name, I would like you to choose one word. You can start with whatever word that you like. Okay, please read that word out loud for me, just only one at a time. Read it out loud, and after that, please tell me what missing letter is. Or if you like, you can spell the whole word. It depends on you. So I'm going to start with Pichaya. Which one would you like to choose? You can hear me? Hello? Yes, can you tell me again which word would you choose? Okay, what is missing letter? Letter O. All right, thank you very much. Kishiya, um, the electrical shocking sound is very loud. Um, I'm going to ask the technician to spot you. Okay, and you know sometimes your voice is too soft for me to hear. Please give me a second. Then we can take you soon. But yes, um, your first word, a board, I'm going to type that word again in the chat box. Right. Well, please be careful, everybody, when you pronounce this word. The first one, we have the BR here. Okay, it means we have to do a double consonant. In Thai, we say, clum. But please be careful because about the R sound. You have to make sure that your mouth is loud like this okay and please give me the end sound we have d here so it is abroad 
Abroad. 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 Shall I get my mouth? Abroad. 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 Just make sure that you rouse your mouth. Okay, if you pronounce the I sound. Now, Wong, please give me one word. Abroad. Abroad. Um, next one, please. Whatever word that you like. Um, the next one is explode. Explode. Missing is uh, L. Ah, Ex okay. Explode. The point is, um, uh, isn't being right or wrong. The point is, I would like you speak English, okay? The missing letter is the L. Oh. You know, sometimes in English, the missing letters, sorry, I mean the pronunciation and the written form are different. For that word, if we have e x, we don't pronounce it as x. No, it's not x. 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 It is x. Explode. And uh, we have the PL here, right? So please do a double consonant again. But this time use the L sound. Your mouth it has to be flat. Explore. But L Explore. Explore. And um, please give me the D at the end as well. So we say explode. Explode. Ex explode. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Please give me a second. Explode. Explode. I hope the technician is supporting picture. Yeah. Okay. Now move next, please. Again, please. Teacher, please, uh, again, please. One more time. Uh, explored. Can you please choose the next word? The next, uh, explore. The next one, explore. Missing word is E, explore. Okay, it is missing letter, not missing word. Missing letter uh, yeah. is explore. E X P L O R E. Again, we don't pronounce it as X. No, it's not X. It is X. 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 Explore. Okay. Explore. 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 Just let me try, Pishaya. Pishaya, can you hear me? Yeah. You can hear me. Pishaya, please count one to ten for me. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's try. Can you please choose the next word? Um, four. Four. What is the missing letter? I can see. Um, missing letter is O. Okay. You know, um, you can pronounce it in two different accents. The first one, if you prefer the American accent, it has to be four. 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 With the R at the end. But you prefer British accent, you just pronounce it as four. 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 Okay, both of them are correct. Now, Wong is one. The next one is so. So. Missing letter is O. So. Thank you. It's quite easy. We just say so. So. Now, Wong, next one, please. Next one is go. Missing letter is O. Go.
Go, okay. Tisha. Go. Like, um, yeah, we have go. You know, you can pronounce it again in two different ways. Go, like go or go or go, go, go with the O sound. Go. Tisha, yeah, next one. No. Uh, better is O. Okay. No. It's very easy, right? No. 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 Is she has the last word, please. No. Better is O. Can you pronounce that word again? No. Okay, now I can't hear you clearly. Uh, just give me a second. I have to talk to the tennis then again. Right now, um, I'm going to read all of them for you, and after that, I will let you read them as well. Let's take a look at the chat box. We have abroad, abroad, explode, abroad. explode, explore, explore, explore. So, explore. so, oh, no, so, so more, no. more. Now, more. more. can you read all of them, please? Okay, uh, abroad, explore, Ex explore. Explore, for, so, go, no, more. I would like you to uh, repeat a circle word. Circle words. Explore, explore. Yes, one. Explore. Explore. Okay, thank you. I think it is really difficult for me. <laughs> is Shaya have uh, has the tradition contacted to you? Okay. Um, can you read all of them for me? Abroad, explore, explore, far, so, go, no, more. All right. Can you repeat the circle word? Explore. Thank you very much. All right. It's pro. Um, I'm going to give you my comments. The best that I could hear. Okay. For you. In English, we don't have to do like the broad. Broad. In Thai, we don't say the broad. No. Broad. Okay. The point is try to not do that with your tongue. Broad. You have to make sure that your lips are rounded. Not your broad. tongue. Okay, we don't say abroad. It is abroad. 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 Explode. Not X. Ex. Okay, it's not X. Ex. It is explode. 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 I am for me to, yeah. That word. Explore. Okay, explore. Explore. By Pisha, yeah, can you pronounce that word for me? Explore. 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 Thank you. Now I'm wrong. Abroad. 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 Uh, explode. 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 Ex 
explode. Explode. Okay, it's better. Thank you. And now. Okay, now uh, at the second task. The question is, what are some advantages and disadvantages of working abroad? I know we have uh, a number of good things and bad things when we work in abroad. But um, I would like to have I would like to have um, one just only one answer about advantage and another one answer for this advantage from each of you and I hope your answers will be different Right, please let me ask, um, Pishaya, can you tell me one advantage and disadvantage of working abroad? Yeah, uh, can you repeat your answers again? Because you know I've heard something like language, a boy, but I don't understand your answers at all. Oh, okay. Um, I mean it's um, uh, as fun as uh, of working about you can uh improve your language and learn new uh new culture uh -huh. and this advantage um i think is uh you will uh home space when okay you, uh -huh, when you go when you work in a board okay i see all right, thank you very much. You will be homesick. We don't say uh, you will be homesick. Nam Wong, can you tell me your opinions about that apart from um, PCS answers? I can, please, teacher. Can you tell me your opinion yeah. about? advantage yeah. and disadvantage mm -hmm. apart from PGS answers. Uh -huh. I think uh, I agree, agree with, with, with her about uh, the ad advantage of um, working abroad is uh, improve uh, about her language skill improve uh, communication skill of her and the uh, I agree with her about the, the, the this advantage of working about is uh, she don't like uh, loneliness and she uh, afraid of uh, sick sick home yeah. Homesick. Homesick. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right. Thank you. I to be honest, actually, I expected to have the different answers, but that's okay. 
the issue side we have um one student who shouldn't miss mind and and can you hear me yes i can hear you okay and and what do you think about the question number two uh, i think uh, the advantage about working abroad uh, we can travel abroad during working and we we can make a new friends yes, and we can we can making more money uh -huh, of course, we can get lots of money if you work aboard. I totally agree with that. Thank you very much and nice to have you here to change your mind. Okay, let's move on to um, the third task. The third task, this is a discussion between you and your friends. You have to talk to your friend about, do you think giving um, feedback is important in the workplace? Why or why not? Okay, I'm going to give you um, two minutes for this conversation. Let's start with um, Namong and An An, whenever you're ready. Yes, uh, An An, good evening. Good evening, Kunjot. Uh, how is your day today? I'm good. And how about you? Yes, I'm great. And An An, uh, do you think giving feedback is, is important in the workplace, or uh, why or why not? Yes, I think giving feedback is important. Mm -hmm. Or I uh I I so thankful the people mm -hmm. when when they give feedback for me. Yeah. Um, because sometimes I maybe do something that didn't suitable or didn't wrong, mm -hmm. but I didn't know. If they give some feedback to yes. me, mm. I can improve myself. Yes, uh, I see. And, and we can live together with happiness. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you agree with me? Yes, I agree with you. Uh, feedback can improve um, our work at the workplace and make uh, the strong team in the company by uh, discuss and give uh, feedback to each other is make uh, our company can achieve at uh, a goal yeah, yeah I, I agree I with think you so. mm -hmm. Thank you for your Thanks. sharing. Thanks for sharing too. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, sometimes feedbacks are good, sometimes, well, feedbacks are bad, but actually, I think it depends on the way that we express that comments or that feedbacks. All right, Pichaya, uh, um, Pichaya, I would like you to have this conversation with An An. So An An, please do this conversation again in two minutes. Hello, welcome, Pichaya. Hello, An An. Um, do you think giving feedback is important in the workplace? Yeah, I think so because um, it fits. Um, in my opinion, um, some feedback can help me uh, do my work and can do my work. And uh -huh. sometimes it can make me uh, can can make me change 
uh, my point of view uh, about my job is from time and and do is better in the next time. Um, and how often do you, do you get the feedback? Um, uh, uh, for my job, um, we have, uh, getting, uh, uh, very often, <laughs> maybe, um, about once a week for, for talk and share problems or, uh, sometimes we need, uh, Suggestion uh, from supervisor or from uh, the colleague for uh, solve the in you know, some problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies. Uh, um, I'm so sorry to stop your conversation there. Thank you very much. Thank you for your help, I'm Anne. Let's take a look at the chat box. I have given you two grammar comments. The first one, once a week for taking and sharing problems. Um, we don't say once a week for talk and share because when you use for, it has to be followed by a noun, a phrase, or children. Okay, that's the point. But when you use solve, this is a verb. Again, we use to followed by infinitive. That's why we can't use for solve. It has to be to solve. To solve, okay, to solve the problem. Right. Solve. And we can move on to the last task. This is a role play. I'm so sorry to turn off my webcam, everybody. It seems like when I keep my webcam off, I could hear um, some of you a little bit clearer okay that's why I have to do that okay role play if you are A you have to talk with B about working abroad and if you are B your student A's friend talk with him or her right you know for working abroad you might want to use your imaginations okay to think about uh, you are now working abroad or in the near future or uh, in the past something like that Again, two minutes for this conversation. Let's start with Nam Wong and Pishaya. Uh, Nam Wong, you are A, okay, and Pishaya, you are B. Hello, Pishaya. Hello, Kunyut. Pishaya, I'm going to work abroad uh, for years. Wow. <laughs> What do you think about uh, about for for me? What do you think about this? I think it's the good chance for you because um, I live in the future. If I can improve my life, mm -hmm. I think uh -huh, I want I want I want to go. I will um. I would like to go uh -huh. to work to abroad too. What country? Uh -huh. Which country would you would you choose if 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 you could choose a country to work abroad? Which country would you choose? Um, I I want to choose um Europe so because I. And what's the most uh, country you like? Um, I the name of country. Like, you, mm? uh -huh, I I prefer England. 
England. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, students. Thank you very much for the conversation. Right. England. Okay. Interesting. England. Um. Let's take a look at the chat box. Um. Your mistake. Okay. The first one. I would like to go to work at a bar too. It has to be. I would like to. Um. Just say that I would like to work abroad too. We don't have to say I would like to go to work. Okay, just I would like to work abroad too. Another one you said I never been to go that country. I been. Has to be. I have never been to that country. You don't have to say been and. Okay, just try one verb, not two words. All right. Uh, and and. I would like to talk with um, Nam Wong. So Nam Wong, please do this conversation again. But this time, and and you are A, Nam Wong, you are B. Hello, Kun Yun. Hello. Kun An An. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. But, uh, and, but I am going to work about Oh wow! Uh, six months. For six months, wow. Where uh, are you going to? I would like to go to the United States. United States, wow. It is interesting country. Uh, and what will you do in? Uh, American, a uh, USA. What will you do? I think I am. Maybe I. Mm -hmm. I go to work at the international company. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, international company. Uh, why? Why I, do? You, uh huh. And and, uh, and and I want to ask you about uh, why do you want to work at a uh, USA company? I I want to work at learn about mm -hmm. the language and yeah. and the technology. Yeah, the technology I see. The, uh, in the United States. Ah, it's very really exciting. Yes. That's good. Okay, students. Thank you very much. And thank you for your help, Nam Wong. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the chat box for my comments. Um, we have. Where are you going? Okay, we don't say where are you going to, because where you going is, is great enough. Next one, it's interesting country. Okay, we have to say it's an interesting country, because this is the first time, um, you talked about that country. Okay, we need to yes, use an or n when we talk about anything for the first time. One pronunciation comment for Russia. When you pronounce that way, okay. Please do a double comment. We say language. Look at my mouth. Can you see? Language. Language. Like that. We don't say language. Okay, it's not gate. It is language. Okay, that's all. So let's wrap up the class from this context about working abroad. Thank you very much, everybody, for your trying to speak English. And don't forget to do your homework. Okay. And please give us feedbacks. What do you think about today's class? Mm -hmm. And I hope next class, our three listeners, you will change your mind 
join in with me. Before we have to say goodbye, Namung, Pichaya and Anan, do you have any questions? No, I don't, Tisha. Thank you. Okay. Don't have any questions. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Tisha, do you have any questions? No, I don't have. Okay. So if you don't have, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a sweet dream and see you next class. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Hello, is this Mr. Nam? Hi, it's Durian. I've just landed in Vietnam. Yes, it's very beautiful here. Can you pick me up from the airport? Yes, that would be great. Okay, bye. Hello students, my name is Durian. I've just landed in Vietnam and I'm about to start my work abroad. Have you ever worked abroad? Which countries would you like to visit? In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to talk about working abroad. I better go. Bye. My sister is going to work abroad for the next year. What does working abroad mean? She's travelling to another country to work. Why does she not stay here and work? She always likes travelling to other countries. And where will she go? She's going to spend the first six months in Vietnam. And what will she do there? She's going to teach English for students at university. And how is she going to pay for all the travel expenses? That university will support foreigners who are working there. And why did she choose Vietnam? She wants to meet new people, eat new food and explore a new country. And where will she go after her six months in Vietnam? She hasn't decided yet, but she might go to Thailand. It sounds so exciting! Hello, is this Mr. Nam? Hi, it's Durian. I've just landed in Vietnam. Yes, it's very beautiful here. Can you pick me up from the airport? Yes, that would be great. Okay, bye. Hello students, my name is Durian. I've just landed in Vietnam and I'm about to start my work abroad. Have you ever worked abroad? Which countries would you like to visit? In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to talk about working abroad. I better go. Bye. My sister is going to work abroad for the next year. What does working abroad mean? She's travelling to another country to work. Why does she not stay here and work? She always likes travelling to other countries. And where will she go? She's going to spend the first six months in Vietnam. And what will she do there? She's going to teach English for students at university. And how is she going to pay for all the travel expenses? That university will support foreigners who are working there. And why did she choose Vietnam? She wants to meet new people, 
eat new food and explore a new country. And where will she go after her six months in Vietnam? She hasn't decided yet, but she might go to Thailand. It sounds so exciting. Now let's keep going. Now we will learn some common words that are often used when talking about someone working abroad. 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 In or to a foreign country. She will work abroad for two years. Spend something. Spend something. To use time for a particular purpose. I spent four hours on my homework. Expenses. 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 Money that you spend while you are working and which your employer will pay back to you later. Did they pay you the travel expenses? Support someone. Support someone. To provide everything necessary, especially money, so that someone can live or exist. My parents supported me when I had no money. Foreigner. A foreigner. 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 A person who comes from a different country. He is a foreigner. He is a foreigner. Explore. 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 To travel to an area or a country in order to learn about it. They explored the new land. Okay, so in this part we will learn some common sentences that we often use when we talk about someone working abroad. The first one. How is she going to pay for all the travel expenses? How is she going to pay for all the travel expenses? My sister is going to work abroad for the next year. My sister is going to work abroad for the next year. She's traveling to another country to work. She is traveling to another country to work. She's going to spend her first six months in Vietnam. She is going to spend her first six months in Vietnam. She wants to meet new people, eat new food and explore a new country. She wants to meet new people, eat new food and explore a new country. She hasn't decided yet, but she might go to Thailand. She hasn't decided yet, but she might go to Thailand. She is traveling to another country for work. For to work. How is she going? To play, she wants to meet new people, eat new food, and explore new country. Mean in or to a foreign country abroad. Mean a person come from the foreign country, foreign mean to travel to an area or country in order to learn about it, explore. My sister is going to work abroad for the next year. What does working abroad mean? She's traveling to another country to work. Okay class, the first question. Is the man's sister going to work abroad this year? No, she isn't. She is going to work abroad next year. 
Why does she not stay here and work? She always likes travelling to other countries. And where will she go? She's going to spend the first six months in Vietnam. Okay, the next question. Does she want to travel to other countries? Yes, she does. And where will she be going? She will go to Vietnam. And how long will she spend there? The answer is, she will spend six months there. And what will she do there? She's going to teach English for students at a university. So, will she be a teacher of English? Yes, she will. And how is she going to pay for all the travel expenses? That university will support foreigners who are working there. OK, the next question. Will the university pay her travel expenses? And the answer is, yes, it will. And why did she choose Vietnam? She wants to meet new people, eat new food and explore a new country. So, does she want to meet new people? Yes, she does. And does she like exploring something new? Yes, she does. And where will she go after her six months in Vietnam? She hasn't decided yet, but she might go to Thailand. It sounds so exciting. OK. Has she decided about the next country? No, she hasn't decided yet. And the final question, which country might she choose? She might go to Thailand. In this video, we are going to learn about the differences in pronunciation between the sound O and O. Or, O and or. Let's look at our first word. We have the word poke, poke, poke. Now that O sound, your mouth, you can see that my mouth starts big and gets smaller. O, O, O. Let's try once together. O. Oh. Now our second sound, or, 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 as you can see in the word pork, 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 my tongue lifts up in the end. Pork, pork, pork. Let's try just the sound. Or, or. Or. This is much different than O. 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 Now, or. 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 Now that you can hear the difference between O and or, let's look at some minimal word pairs. Please listen carefully. Do. Do. Door, door. Foe, foe. Four, four. Go, 
go, gore, gore, o, o, or, or, mo, mo, more, more. Let's move on. Moaning, moaning, morning, morning. Bode, bode, board, board. Bone, bone, born, born. Folk, folk, fork, fork. So, so, sore, sore. Let's move on. Dome, dome, dorm, dorm, toe, toe, tor, tor, snow, snow, snore, snore, stow, Stow, store, store, tone, tone, torn, torn. Let's move on. This is the last set. Code, code, cord, cord, cone, cone, corn, Corn, Coke, Coke, Cork, Cork, Ho, Ho, Whore, Whore, Stoke, Stoke, Stork, Stork. Let's try a test. And now let's practice with a test. I'm going to say two words from here or here and then choose a word and you choose from column one or column two. The first example is poke or pork. I'm going to say the word pork. Pork. I bet you chose pork. Let's look at the second example. O or or. O or. I'm going to choose the word O. O. O was the correct answer. Now for the third example, folk or fork. I'm going to say the word fork. Fork. The correct answer was fork. Now we have snow or snore. Snow or snore. I'm going to say the word snow. Snow. The correct answer is snow. And last we have code or cord. I'm going to say the word cord. Cord. I bet you chose cord. Now that you've had some time to practice, let's look at some more example sentences. Now let's look at the first example sentence. We have our first sentence here, which focuses on the sound O. O. The first sentence says, Gnome soaks his toes alone at home. Now repeat after me. Gnome soaks his toes alone at home. Gnome soaks his toes alone at home. Our second sentence focuses on the sound or. Or. The store fork is on the floor or door. Now repeat after me. 
the store fork is on the floor or door. Now you've had a practice test and some practice sentences. I hope you can hear the difference between these two sounds. See you next time. Load. Boat. Talk. Bought. Sport. Roll. Port. Hi, Jim. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. What are you doing now? I'm working as a manager for a shipping company in Europe. I work closely with partners in France and Italy. Great! How many days a week do you work? Five days. And you? What's your job? I'm a salesman and I have to work six days a week. Well, how long have you been working at your job? I've worked in Asia for six months. Is it easy to find a job in Asia? Not really. My father worked there and I went overseas to work with him. Whoa! What's your father's occupation? He's a sales manager, but we aren't paid well. Does your job pay a good salary? To me, it's relatively good.